What's up guys, welcome back to another video on Marley Nation and uh, today I'm doing my first moto vlog and I had promised that I was going to start doing these and with all the free time I've been getting I decided uh, I'd start off with a simple one, nothing crazy, nothing interesting, just some riding around, some facts and uh, what the series is going to look like so my plan is to create moto vlogs once in a while make them more interesting that way you're not getting them all the time but they're not as interesting but hope you guys enjoy these because i'm starting to try to make more videos as you can see ski season is over and i've been promising motor vlogs for a long time so i wanted to fulfill that and if you did not notice i changed the channel name to marley nation tv because of all the different things i do i just decided to change it because I do so many different things. I decided that Marley Nation TV sounded better. So I hope you guys enjoy these, but if you do, like and subscribe for more. And basically, right now, I'm just riding on my trails. I have a lot of trails, so you'll see these a lot in motor vlogs. Coming up, I hope everybody's staying safe right now. Obviously, these are very weird times for all of us. And no matter where you are, the effects can be seen. Um, free time for me has been through the roof. Obviously, that's for everybody. And it's driving some people crazy. But I've been riding a lot to keep myself busy. And motor vlogs will hopefully be coming out during this time period. I will try to make them more often, not just once every two months or something like that. I want to make it something interesting. So I'll try to keep it interesting for everyone. So you're not just sitting here watching me ride around on my dirt bike. That would be kind of boring to watch. But I can tell you, um, upcoming video is going to be, my friend is getting a pit bike. So that will be sometime in the future. That would be a really fun video. At least a vlog. We can just mess around on a little nice pit bike. That will be fun. Uh, just real random exploring videos anything really outside just to make them kind of interesting i'll come up with stuff you know just do what i gotta do to come up with stuff but the vlogs aren't gonna just be i'm gonna try to make them so they're not just me riding around in a circle blabbing on for a long time like i'm doing now make them more interesting but um i thought today since i don't have anything planned and this is just a start to the series of the motor vlogs um, I'll answer some questions to make it some interesting. So, first off, um, right now I ride a 2005 Honda CRF 100F, for those who don't know. And I plan on upgrading to another bike sometime in the future. What that bike is, I don't know, but I plan on getting the Enduro sometime. So definitely that will be fun once I get that. Again, no timestamps on that. Um, I plan on getting a truck sometime. Again, I don't know when. So it's all up in the air, especially with the virus. So we'll just see and take it things from here and just kind of relax. But um, also, I thought I'd answer this question. Not that anybody asked, but if you were interested in dirt bikes, where do you start looking? and what type of bike do you want to get, all that stuff, I'll get into that. So basically, um, I decided I wanted to ride dirt bikes randomly one day. I was, I don't know what it was that I wanted to, I watched, I watched something and I was like, wow, I want to ride a dirt bike. So what I did, I got my dirt bike off Craigslist a while ago for a good deal. And obviously getting a dirt bike is a big thing. You can buy from the dealership if you have a lot of money lying around. It's good to get a new bike. I didn't do that because I didn't have that much money around lying around. But you can definitely get a brand new bike or you can go to Craigslist and always get a bike which is just fine. And what you want to do is you want to figure out what your expertise are. Obviously you're probably just starting off. So you want to start off with something more tame. You don't want to go straight to that KTM bike right there 450 you know so what I'd recommend is you can always go to a dealership where they sell their bikes and they could always check you and figure out what your size is for riding 
you can always do that. Or you can estimate to the best of your ability what you think your size is. So once you figure out that size, you can start looking on Craigslist or wherever you want. Example, 100. Okay, I'm looking up, uh, I don't know, or just say YZ85, you know? I'm looking at the YZ85s. I'm liking the style they, that they're bringing. So I'm looking, you cut, they're not too bad. Pretty good beginner bike, and you have to keep in mind what you want with your dirt bike. Are you using it for motocross, or are you using it for trail riding, just like me? I'm riding trails, so I got a bike that's good for trail riding not a motocross bike. Four strokes, two strokes, the difference. There's a whole, I could go into a whole list of differences. But the big thing is, if you're just starting off, it's probably better to get a four stroke personally, but it's up to you, obviously. You don't have to listen to me. I'm just giving you my best advice. But four stroke, two stroke. So you found, you've done some searching up bikes you'd like, you've watched motovloggers, you've seen what type of bike you want to get based on how much experience you have. You're a new rider, you want to get a bike. You find the bike that you want and now you're looking. Okay, so you see deals. When buying on Craigslist, you can rush or you can take your time. It's all up to you. If you rush, be aware that you might be paying a price that's a little expensive, a little bit pricey, but if you wait, there's always a chance you can get a really good deal. So it's better to wait. If you want if you want to just give it some time, wait a little bit, and you can get a good deal, but if you want to rush, you could get a deal that's a little more expensive, but you're getting the bike right away. So it's always good to choose and make sure you pick the right bike for you. You don't want to just get a bike because you think it looks cool. You want to get a bike that fits you because you're going to be riding it a lot, obviously. And you're going to be going all over the place with that thing, depending on what you're using it for. So make sure, and obviously, this is just basic stuff that I'm telling you. You could just, it's probably easier, just look it up online. What should I look at when getting a dirt bike? And I'm sure tons of stuff will come up for you. And it'll give you a whole list of details you can do. But really, I recommend dirt bike riding. And always run riding a dirt bike, make sure you ride, use a helmet. Like I said, it's always good to use, always use a helmet while riding any type of bike. It's just a good safety thing. And I'm gonna tell you, you think, ah, I'm not gonna crash after riding your dirt bike. Well, it happens. Son of a bitch. Like I said, always wear a helmet for protection. You never know when you're gonna crash, you know? It, it may be five minutes or it might be five days, but when you crash, you want a helmet. I've had some pretty nasty crashes throughout my riding years, not gonna lie. You know, you know, I've sprained my wrist. You know, that's nothing bad. Some people crash really bad, so. As long as you're careful, you'll be fine. And once you have a crash, don't get discouraged. You can always get back up from it and get better over time. But, and also you may be wondering, what's the best brand to buy for dirt bikes? Well, that's a hard, hard debate that people get into all the time. Which bike brand's the best brand to buy? And uh, there's not really a true right answer because all bikes have their pros and cons. So just choose which bike you like best and you can always change your bike later on. But I hope you guys are enjoying some of the tips I'm giving and I know this isn't exactly a very interesting video. This is just some tips, facts, what's going on for the future, but I plan for the future to have some more interesting videos. So if you guys like these, again, like, subscribe, stay tuned, Marley Nation TV. I do tons of different videos, sports cars, exploration, die cast, skiing, you know, just really video games, really anything under the sun. I, I have a lot of hobbies. So just stay tuned. And if you like a certain thing, just stay tuned for that. That's why it's called Marley Nation TV. And 
I hope everyone is staying safe during these quarantine times and don't worry, we will get back to normal sometime soon. And uh, stay tuned for the next moto vlog. I cannot predict when it's gonna come out, but I will say that it will be out sometime soon. It's probably around sometime middle of May. If so, whenever it comes out, I'll make sure to upload it, let you know. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.